We come to Linus office in Australia because we want to bring this nasty thing that Linus is doing in Malaysia, specifically in Kuantan, is a small coastal town where we have about 700,000 people staying just within 30 kilometers radius from a, a planned rare earth processing plant which is being built by Linus Corporation, an Australian mining company. Right. This rare earth plant is going to produce lots of radioactive waste each year and they are going to dump this radioactive waste right where Kuantan is, where the 700,000 people are staying. And this whole operation is very, very untransparent. They are hiding a lot of things and we want to bring this big lie to Australia to tell the Australian people of how unethical an Australian mining company can be. They are bringing this dirty, toxic industry into a third world or developing country, taking full advantage of our lax environmental law. And we are trying to get the people of, of Australia to be concerned with this because we feel, we feel that this uh, refinery is uh, very dangerous and very harmful to the people, even to the environment, especially in the surrounding area. So we come here, 10, 12 of us are coming here just to, to, to get the sympathy of the people of Australia and urge the government of Australia to stop lioness from operating in Kempe, Kuantan, Malaysia. Uh, the wastage will grow, grow, grow from the, the, the refinery to the river and down to the sea which effect the life of the sea, sea like fish or something or everything there and then once it's happened then everything will be, ready, will, be, will, be, will be affected by radioactive and it's very dangerous and very harmful to the human being and this lasts, it's not last for very very short time it lasts for millions of years and this will affect our generation to come I'm a mother of two and uh, my parents have been living in Kwantan I've been living in Kwantan and I believe my children will want to grow up and live in Kwantan too Kwantan has always been a good place to live it, uh, it has a proper balance between development and also environment you still have access to the beaches you have still have access to the forest and we worry that uh, at the end of this project that we might not have good beaches to go anymore we will be losing our environmental greens and we will be uh, contributing to the imbalance of ecosystem. We have lax environmental law, we, we have the Environmental Quality Act, but it does not cover radiation. There's no uh, there's no clauses that cover radiation in the Environmental Quality Act. And if you see, uh, the history has shown that even if we won at uh, the courts in uh, Bukit Merah, but since there were political intervention, AELB went on and gave a license to the ARE to continue operating, even though there was an injunction given by the courts in uh, the Bukit Merah cases. So we are worried that the same thing might happen here in Kwantan. 11 points that have been uh, have been recommended. It's a bit too late, uh, uh, the, the part about public consultation. At this point of time, when 40% has already gone up, and you uh, only now you impose a public consultation, it's a bit too late. And after 40% has gone up, only then you impose certain regulatory measures, it's a bit too late. The, the public consultation should have been done earlier, on the very first day they uh, decided to come to uh, Malaysia. We strongly believe that our voices will be heard now that we are here in Australia and the Australian people are very very supportive and very understanding of our plight we do believe it might hold up the the, 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 the running of the plant uh, when we get back to Malaysia we have a series of uh, plans to uh, bring awareness to all the people in Malaysia especially the Malay community and the community at large throughout Malaysia we hope through this series of uh, awareness, we're able to, to garner the support of the whole nation and we'll bring the pressure to bear on our government as well as whichever corporate company in the world that try to bring toxic industries to Malaysia.